Uh, dear friends, uh, in this video, let us see uh, about uh, the streamlines and uh, velocity potential lines. Nothing but uh, equal potential lines or orthogonal to each other. That means streamlines and uh, velocity potential lines are. Or orthogonal to each other. So it means uh, that uh, streamlines and uh, velocity potential lines. So if you draw a line, that means an angle. That angle will be ninety degree. So that is what mean by uh, this statement. First, uh, let us see about uh, stream function. That means uh, stream function for the stream line based on the stream line. So that means stream function we know So it is nothing but uh, we just represent by sign. So stream function along the stream line is constant. So that is the idea. So we know about the stream line. Because the streamline is the imaginary line drawn in the flow field, uh, and uh, these are uh, tangential tangent to the flow direction, flow direction uh, in the at each and every point in the flow. So let us uh, just uh, draw the um, that means uh, let us define the stream function along the streamline. Stream function along the streamline, nothing but uh, we just say psi equal to constant. So that means this is uh, along the streamline is constant. Streamline is constant. So that means stream function along the streamline is constant. So then uh, when you are writing, that means we can just say that uh, stream function is a function of action law. So we can just say that. So then based on this, we can write uh, the stream function. Means uh, we can write uh, psi equal to d psi. Do psi equal to uh, do psi by do x into dx plus similarly do psi by do y into dy. So this is what uh, stream function and you are uh, differentiating uh, and then writing. So in the mathematical form. Then uh, what it says, uh, the stream function, because uh, we know what is uh, the stream function how we have defined. So it's in that uh, do psi by equal to, this is, uh, this is nothing but uh, minus b. So this is minus b, minus b into dx plus. This is nothing but uh, u, the velocity component uh, based on the string function. So that is u into dy. So this is what uh, we say. Then when you are uh, differentiating, so writing like this, and we know that uh, stream function along the this stream line is constant. So that means it is it is constant. So we can just say that uh, those d equal to differentiation of psi equal to zero, because uh, when it is when we say it is constant, then it, this will be when we are differentiating that uh, constant becomes zero. So then in this equation we can write. So this is the right hand side, that means left hand side is zero. Right hand side, we have a b dx plus u dy. Then uh, this we can uh, write it, uh, that means d u in dy equal to minus, this is also minus, minus v into dx. So we can write like this. 
then uh, this will become uh, dy we can find out uh, this both side this can be become plus so dy by dx equal to v by u so this is the dy by dx is nothing but a slope this is a slope okay you can just say that uh, slope for slope of the stream function so this is nothing but uh, slope of the stream function and similarly we can uh, write it for the equipotential line so because uh, equipotential line is the one equipotential line so equipotential line is the one along which uh, the velocity potential function is constant so that's what we see so then similarly we can write uh, this equipotential line is so we just say this then uh, this can be we can write it as uh, the equipotential line also is a function of x comma y when we just consider uh, 2d two dimensional case uh, that for both the uh, equipotential line and the stream line then uh, velocity potential function uh, we are just uh, defining uh, it for only x and y then we can this can be when you are uh, differentiating writing in the differential form d phi equal to d phi by dx into dx plus d uh, d phi by do y into dy so we can write like this then uh, based on the velocity potential function we have defined the velocity components in our previous class so that is nothing but uh, this term this is representing u that means uh, velocity component in the x direction u into dx plus this is representing uh, v v into dy so this is a uh, d phi so differentiation of the uh, potential uh, function so that means uh, now we know that uh, uh, with equal potential line along which uh, that means uh, velocity potential function velocity potential function is constant along the equal potential line along the equipotential line it is constant so you can just write it so then uh, we know that this also can be if you are differentiating and then it will become zero then uh, this con condition can be applied in the uh, above equation uh, that means we can just say that uh, we are writing so uh, this we can I we can write it we can write it here as zero left hand side becomes zero right hand side is u dx plus v dy then uh, this also can be simplified so minus uh, v v dy equal to uh, u dx so then uh, we can write Further, we can simplify dy by dx equal to uh, u by v. So minus will come minus u by v. So this is nothing but uh, this is the slope of the equipotential. Slope of the equipotential. So then. Uh, so we know we can take it as uh, this is as the slope um, s2 then uh, based on the stream function uh, that can be taken as s1 so we have a stream on uh, the slope this can be taken as the s1 then uh, the slope of the s1 and the s2 we can just say that uh, slope of the slope of the slope of the uh, S1 and S2. That means in the product of the slope of the S1 and S2. 
because the S1 is based on the string function, uh, string function and the S2 is based on the velocity potential function. Then the product uh, is, you can just say that uh, the product of the S1 and the S2, what it says. The product of the S1 is, uh, we know that is nothing but uh, you can just, S1 is E by U. So this is nothing but uh, V by U. Then uh, S2 is nothing but uh, minus U by V. So uh, from this, uh, we can just say that uh, both are From this, we can say that uh, minus, and you are just saying that uh, this is, so in, finally we are getting minus one. So, I mean, the S1 into S2, thank you. So, from this statement, uh, or from these results, we can say that uh, the product of the uh, thing, that means slope of the stream function and the velocity potential function gives the, the minus one results minus gives minus one that based on this we can say and when this uh, according to the mathematics uh, then uh, when whenever we are getting the two slopes the lines of the two slopes becoming uh, minus one then uh, they are uh, called as uh, they are orthogonal to each other so from the based on this we can say that uh, both the streamlines and uh, both the streamlines and uh, Equal potential lines are few lines and the uh, equal potential lines are lines are or orthogonal to orthogonal to each other. So this is what we are understanding uh, from the, from this various